What's going on with your YouTubes? Jumperman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today is what I like to do on this channel sometimes, you know, for some shoots. And you guys been asking me about my opinion about what you do about these Yeezy breads. Hold or sell type of video. Or just some resale prediction too as well. But man, first of all, let's talk about the release. Everyone already knows that it's supposed to be over 500,000 pairs stocks worldwide. I know a lot of people was talking about it. I personally think it was capped. Some people think it was true. Whatever the case is, I, it doesn't matter because the demand was much higher than the stock. So it doesn't even matter. Even if, these, even if there was a million pairs stocks worldwide, there still have been people taking L's. There still have been people striking out because first of all, you guys already know how it is. So stock was online. And of course, what happens is, you know, a lot of botters and uh, resellers gonna go after these things. It just is what it is because these things going for a pretty decent amount of money because you guys should already know when these first came out back in like 2017, the resale, resale on these things was actually still pretty crazy. And at one point, these things were going like, like what, $1,200 to a thousand, sometimes $800. Yes, we have seen the price drop down pretty, pretty kind of low, but there's still pretty, you know, there's still definitely some resale on these things. They're still going about that 380 to 400 range, depending on sizes. And I do expect to see some prices to kind of go up and down and so on and so forth. Now we're at the panic buying stage right now. Like people are panic buying, you know, it's holiday season and so on and so forth. So, and plus, like I said, it's a, the demand on these things were actually pretty high, man. This is like a classic Yeezy and it's an all black Yeezy for sure. It's actually people's, one of the people's, uh, these were probably some of the people's favorite Yeezys of all time. And they were just waiting for these to come back out. And plus, you know, it's just a classic, especially with that SPLY. So, but anyways, you should already know the drill, right? course day one is gonna be the highest price point what it's gonna be for the first few days or so like that and then once people start to get pairs from online we're gonna see prices kind of go down a little bit but slow down i'm gonna just slow everyone down because i think people are expecting these things to dip down dramatically and stuff like that ah oh, man i i just don't think so man not that hard. Like, I don't think it's gonna drop down like crazy. Yes, I've seen a lot of people take W's and some of that online, but I saw a lot of people take L's too as well. Trust me, the demand is still there. I, I do expect to see prices dip down just a little bit. Like, I do see like prices probably dip down to about maybe that 350, maybe 320 if you're lucky, but around 350 range. But once prices dip down, they're not gonna stay down for long. We got holiday season coming up. The demand on these things was really, really high. A lot of people took L's. It's a classic colorway. It's an all black easy. Trust me, if you're looking into buying, I would probably buy once you see prices kind of dip down a little bit. That's when you kind of want to start to buy in because then you get little Timmy's get pairs and then little Timmy's going to dump these things. You're going to see a little bit of undercutting, but I don't think the price will stay down that long, man. I think it's going to happen. With, I think what's going to happen is remember how like the mochas were. I know it's a different release and stuff like that. I, I hate to compare it, but I just want to talk about like how the demand is because the mochas, they, the price went down a little bit and then they, they kind of shot up and then they just kind of stayed up. First, like I said, the mochas was really high in demand. People really want that shoe. And this is the same way how this is. The demand is super high. So once you see prices go down, I think prices, the lowest it will probably be is around 320 if you're lucky maybe 300 Ugh, that's if you i don't really don't see it drop down to 300 that low but i do see it about like that 350 range and then eventually it'll go back up like this is probably going to be like a 380 to 400 dollar shoe pretty soon like it'll go back up like significantly that's basically what it is right now is this a hold or sell i mean if you need the capital sell at 400 basically making some pretty good money these things only retail for like what I think shipped in tax and everything is probably like 240, 235, something like that. So you're making like 160 per pair. That's pretty decent. But man, I I think this is 100% an easy no-brainer hold. Like this has to be a hold. If you guys hit on these things for retail and you probably have a couple pairs here and there, I would hold if you have capital for sure. 100% definitely hold. I mean no it probably most likely won't go back up to like 1200 to 1000 or something like that but this is still i think this is still going to be like a 500 to 600 dollar shoe easy especially if you guys hold these things for about like six months maybe to even a year or something like that these definitely the shoe 
can go up that high. Because if you just look at the black statics, look at the black statics. Yes, they restocked on Black Friday. They were going for like, what, maybe like three something, 400 tops. And or I think I even saw prices even lower than that. And look at the prices now. Because I always tell you guys, all black Yeezys do well. All black Yeezys do well. And that's the thing about these things here. All black Yeezy. And it's one of those like OG, like classic, original colorway. For sure. So it doesn't, it's such a no brainer that you have, you can definitely hold on to these things for sure. Like just put it away, put it in your closet, forget about it and just wait till it keeps going up. Because this is like, so you guys, some Yeezys is definitely hold. Like, like I know lately with Yeezys, man, with, you know, with the hype and everything, and a lot of these Yeezys been coming out this year has been like bricking. So I'm sure that's kind of scaring people about these things here, but don't, I wouldn't worry about that, especially for this one in, partic in particular, because it's the OG colorway for sure i mean look at zebras for instance how many times have these damn things restocked my goodness yes they were at 1500 at one point and then they restocked again and then again they were basically bricking and then just because it's like one of the best colorways out there they're finally they're back up they're staying at like you know 370 to 400 so that's the same thing with these things here and unless there's another restock god forbid there's gonna be another restock here i always tell you guys no yeezys are safe but Still, I wouldn't, I would definitely still hold these things for a little. Because if Yeezy Supply or Kanye or anybody makes another announcement like, oh, uh, yeah, I saw everyone take L, so we're going to restock another million pairs in 2021. Then all bets are off, of course. <laughs> all bets are off. I think this is it for this colorway. I would think it's it. I, I'm not too sure. I think it's it. I Maybe in a couple years they'll restock it again. Maybe I don't know. Like with zebras, I feel like they restock these things every year. I mean, isn't Europe again another restock of these things? So I would just. <laughs> I mean, 100. It's such a no-brainer to hold these things. And the most profitable size, if you guys want to hold, is definitely small sizes. I mean, small sizes. You guys already know with 350s, especially from size five all the way up to about seven and a half. Such a good size hold. I mean, those things are already still staying at that 420, 400 range. And for that size, that sky's the limit. That can be 500, 600, so, so easy. So if you want to start investing, definitely invest in small sizes, you know, uh, especially a size six. That's like, it seems like that's like the hardest size to get. And that's the size, size that no one wants to let go. And also, I noticed another thing about Yeezys too is big sizes are actually doing pretty freaking good, like better than usual. Usually like, some of the regular sizes do very very well but it seems like the bigger sizes are doing better so like sizes like 10 and a half and up they're doing way better right now so i'm a size and i'm a size nine to a nine and a half that's usually a pretty it's a pretty good size too as well but it looks like like i said the bigger size is doing better than my size which is kind of like thank goodness leave my size alone <laughs> but anyways uh probably these this size here they're probably gonna do pretty well too as well sky's the limit of course as well these things are gonna hit 500 easy it's gonna hit 500 in no time uh potentially if you hold it even longer it could hit up to about 600 depending if it doesn't restock bigger sizes will probably go up faster than like my size like a regular size i feel like the more common size but you know they're all gonna reach uh, basically be the same so all sizes are good especially small sizes are very very good so i would definitely 100 percent hold if you guys can this especially if you hit on retail man especially if you guys hit on retail hold man hold 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 pretty much end of the video guys that's about for these bread yeezys you guys let me know how you guys did i know there's some people i seen some people in the comments they took some l's i seen some people took some w's i think it's more like it's kind of like 50 50 but i still there's a lot of people taking l's you know this like i said this shoe is very high in demand so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video guys if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop vids don't forget to follow me on all my social media at german chris on ig sometimes i'm on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all thank you guys so so much i'm german chris peace